Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this Elementor tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily display multiple post types inside the Elementor post widget. By default, the Elementor post widget can only display one post type. In most cases, you will use this post widget to display your blog post. But in this example, I'm going to show you how you can display not only your blog posts, but let's say your pages and a custom post type. The good news is that Elementor has this built in but it will require you to add a custom function to your website. So as you can see on this page, they have really good documentation on how to do this. And in this example, I'm going to show you how we can pull this code into your Elementor page and have it display multiple post types. So let's just jump into the back end of the website. I'm going to show you how you can set this up. Now, before I continue, I do recommend you install this plugin. If you don't already have this on your website, it's called code snippets. This plugin allows you to easily add custom functions like this to your website without having to mess with a child theme or editing any code like that on your theme level. Now let me show you what we're working with on the back end of the Elementor website. So right here, we just have a simple uh, post widget. And as you can see down here under the query, I'm just pulling in the source called post. So as you already know, you can choose between pages, any custom post types you have, manual, current query and related. So it would be great if you could just like multi-select in here, multiple things, but they don't let you do that. So to pull this off, we need to add a special query filter and then tie it to this code. So let me show you exactly how you do that. The first thing you need to do is copy and paste this code right here, jump over into your code snippets right here. And as you can see, I already have one here called post queries. And this code is very simple. So let me just put that back in here so you can see exactly what I was able to change. So the only thing that you need to change on this end is if you want to have a different name for your filter, you could change that right here so that we would add onto the post page. And then this is where you're going to add in all the different post types that you would like to have. So let's just go ahead and type in post, which will pull in all the posts. Let's pull in page. And I have a special one here called speakers and I'll show you exactly how everything is set up, but you just put in comma quote and then speaker and that's it. You just hit save changes. And like I said, I'm not going to change this. I'm going to keep this very simple. So I'm just going to copy this uh, filter name right here. It's called my custom filter. And all you have to do to pull this off is underneath your post widget, just put that query ID right here. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So let me hit update on here and let's view this on the front end of the website. So if I go hit refresh, it's now pulling in speakers. These are pages. And then further down the line, I have all my blog posts. Now that we add all the code, let's just make sure everything is working correctly. So these first two blog posts are actually considered the uh, speakers. So let me show you how I have that set up. So I added a custom post type using the uh, jet engine post types. And so right down here, I just have a, a special custom post type just called speakers, I made it very generic. And you can see, I just have um, me, Mark, and then we have Barbara in here. Um, all I did was just add a featured image down here with like no text in it. So these are the two latest things um, between the pages, the post and the custom post type. So that's going to show up first right here. And so the rest of these are just uh, some test pages I've created. So let's go ahead and strip away one of those post types inside the snippet. And let's see if it works correctly. So let's say we don't want page in there. Let's just get rid of page. And now it should just be showing all of my blog post and speaker, anything underneath speaker. So let me hit save. Let's go back to the page, hit refresh. And there you go. So we have the custom post type called speakers right here. And then these are just the normal blog post right here. And the great thing about this widget is you could still go ahead and change any of the ordering by, um, if you wanted to have a date range, anything in the past year will show up in here. So you could still change how it's going to display uh, within here. You just can't change anything up here. So as you can see, if I go and click these, they're not going to update anything because this custom query ID and this code we added uh, will override the source right here. 
So that's it for this Elementor tutorial. I hope this was helpful. Uh, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new Elementor tips like this. Thanks again. This is Mark from Wikidesign.